When you think of ultrasound, you're likely thinking of the technology used in prenatal care or screenings. But the technology and its uses are evolving and could be the future of treating Alzheimer's disease. Low intensity focused ultrasound may help disturb the blood brain barrier. That barrier is meant to shield the brain from toxic substances in the blood. Dr. Justin Sporer at Baptist Health's Miami Neuroscience Institute says the idea behind using ultrasound is twofold. It could potentially break up the protein tangles in the brain, and it could also be used to temporarily open up the blood-brain barrier to allow medication in. A new study currently underway at Baptist may put us one step closer to minimally invasive treatment options. I think that uh, low-intensity focused ultrasound and high-intensity focused ultrasound are right uh, at the doorstep of an era where neurosurgeons are going to become less and less necessary, sorry to say. But I'm glad to be on the forefront of that because you know, when we think of science fiction and how the future is going to be, uh, we think of minimally invasive or non-invasive treatments uh, that have been historically treated with surgery. After Alzheimer's, Parkinson's is the second most common neurodegenerative disease. And while low intensity focused ultrasound use is still being studied, high intensity focused ultrasound has already proven to have success in the treatment of Parkinson's patients, specifically curing their tremors. Dr. Sporer showed us these incredible images where once patients' hands shook too much to stay within the lines, they were able to complete the task immediately after the high food treatment. While therapeutics are improving and diagnosis is getting easier, there's still no cure for Alzheimer's disease.